week has been a conclusion for us uh, in terms of one, one and a half years of research and um, into robotics and uh, we're finally going to be releasing our first industrial prototype related to um, and it's an articulated robot that we've made. It's a five axis robot right now, also with six axis capability in the future. We as a company have been obsessed with the idea of creating processes. And when you're obsessed with processes, fundamentally you're obsessed with reliability and replication. We started realizing that fundamentally in order to create systems that are truly reliable, you had to build machines. In India, most of the machines that people buy are actually second-hand machines or machines bought from different countries all over the world. And the irony of that is that when you buy second-hand machines, you're automatically not making it in India or make, it's not make in India, it's make second-hand in India. And that is one of the fundamental flaws of making make in India. We're going to be building this robot as the cheapest robot ever to be produced on this planet. And our goal is to bring down its cost by indigenously manufacturing it at 2.5 lakhs per robot. There were a lot of people who were laughing at me. There were a lot of people who were, you know, suddenly feeling like, uh, what is this guy even thinking? What is he even talking about? This is the world's stupidest idea, which I think is the fun of it. And uh, as we like to say around here, that if people are not laughing at your goals, they're probably not worth pursuing. So a lot of people laughed and eventually I got so tired of the interviews that for me the criteria became that uh, whoever is willing to believe in the idea, whoever is willing to say yes, that's the person we want to recruit. In, in, in the case of Karunesh, I remember I didn't even do that. My idea was to trap him. Our company MD Akbal Absar was out of India. He was at, uh, I think, Abu Dhabi. So from there I got a call. Uh, after four, five, uh, three, four hours later, I got a call and he told me, he actually we need to design a robo, industrial robo. That's it and he cut the phone and uh, I started sketching all the things uh, on the same day and uh, after four or five days he came back to India and he met me. He met me so warmly that I was surprised that okay, uh, people are very much serious and they really want to develop this robotic scenario. Then we started realizing that the gap that was remaining was electrical and that's where uh, we went ahead and we found uh, someone like Lomesh who's really defined along with Karunesh the way this division has built up. He was extremely passionate, his ideas were incredible and uh, that's what combined between both of them to build this team for me and that was one of the most exciting and milestone moments for the company to have two people besides my madness believe in the idea of building industrial robots. Uh, actually, we were getting calls again and again by the management that well, what is going on there and we were seeing failures and failures and failures and failures. So we thought that let's do something. I told him that we have some idea, we can make something and we want that part to be 3D printed. I remember my all our morale was a little bit low around Diwali time when these guys presented to me a 3D printed robo which was this yay small and you guys can see it. Um, when I saw it, it, it would pick in place and it was like a toy, but uh, for me it was, I think, such an incredible moment. To see, you know, a team's vision come to life even in the form of a toy in the beginning can, can give you so much motivation, can, can make you feel like it's possible. Uh, the first version of the robot looked like it had a 3D printing part, it had a wooden part, it had a, uh, you know, a machined part, it had every possible part except casting because at that time we hadn't gone into casting. It had every part, it had the crane operations, I'm sure Lomesh and Karunesh will explain you that story even better. But when you looked at it, it was, it, it looked like it had come from all our learnings. And I remember, you know, uh, the, the night before it, uh, there was a deep and uh, sad to nahi kahunga, but a deep, uh, you know, 
realization for all of us that uh, it, it could not take the load uh, of, of, of the weight that we had introduced and, and that um, obviously put the entire team's morale down. But I think for us the biggest learning that night was that it was important for us to just put a version of the product out there, put a version of the prototype out there. And that's what really defines this team. This team doesn't give up. It doesn't, uh, dis it doesn't you know, put things down just because it's not perfect. So what happened was that I messaged Alap sir, ki, uh, sir, uh, we have been successful in testing that gearbox. He said, wonderful, I have a flight at 5 a.m. So I will uh, see day after tomorrow. I said, nah, that is not accepted. So I forwarded him a video. Once seeing the video, he was so excited. He said, ki, are you guys still there? It is 3 a.m. in the morning, you should remember that. So he said, ki, are you guys still in the uh, workshop? I said, yes, sir, we are, because we won't get anything going from here. So it's only two hours late, so we will. Uh, leave at 5 or 5.30. So he said, okay, uh, I am coming there in half an hour. He said, okay, sir. So once Alap sir was there and he see, uh, said, okay, let's see it. And once that arm moved its position, that was a time that the smallest speech by Alap sir was given because he he was, he didn't have words to express. And even if me and after him going, Darmin had said that word, he allowed sir was so emotional, I think he would have cried. And at that time the complete team knew this is not a business opportunity, this is nothing as just a person's or a yeah, passion. He's dreaming about this, he's thinking about this thing every day, every night for last 10 years and when he sees a single section of it being completed, that moment 3 a.m. 16th of February was the time when we changed everything. Who do you know was the last time came up to you and said, oh, you know, I'm building industrial robots. I mean, it's hard. I can't deny that. It's really hard. It's, it's, it takes a lot of pain and it takes a lot of risk and you, you are scared a lot. But I think um, more than hardness, because as you get into something like this, it's hard in the beginning, right? Because the level of unsurety is so high, the level of unknown is so high. But eventually when you kind of start reaching the product and when you see it in real life, um, that idea of whether it is hard anymore sort of goes out, goes out of the question. It is a, one of the biggest achievement in life. I have, I, I never work on such a project which is handled with a group of two or three members and I have much motivated in last one and 1.5 year till I have from I have joined PBO, I have much, I think I have learned lots of things. I have much improvement and I think it's one uh, lifetime achievement if I, we will uh, do in uh, 15th of November. My name is Amal Shabik and I am working for a lot of years with the Tanner Fitter. But here there is a new job. It is a new job. It is a new job here. And we are very happy that we have कि नए नए काम मिल रहे हैं हमारे को करने को मिल रहा कि ऐसे प्रोडक्ट बन रहे हैं जो कि हमने कभी देखे नहीं और हमें बहुत खुशी है हमारे अब सीखने के टाइम के हमें सेव और बढ़ सीखते रहेंगे और क्या uh, why Ajay I think uh, besides it being the first major I mean Ajay stands for you know your first major victory so fundamentally I believe that in my career, this is the first time in my life I feel like I've worked, I've, I've really done something meaningful. You, you'd be surprised even though, you know, I, I'm sure there are other things that I have. I feel like this is a victory of meaningfulness. It's a victory, it's the first victory of 
uh, of a company that believes in wild ideas and, and bringing them into reality. So Ajay stands for that. And of course, it also has an emotional aspect. The principles of this company are based on process and systemization, which for all of us were given to us by um, Mr. Dayal, which is Ajay Dayal, and his name stands with Ajay. So that is what it is.